Hello and welcome back to the J Sano fan server with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. So, last episode, we are all nice and finished with the Muck Luck mini golf. Thank goodness. <sighs> Quite a journey, but it's all done and people seem to like it. I've had a few people say they're going to play it and stuff, and so that's, that's great. Great news, marketing worked. But I think it's about time that we moved back onto our own base, the Chunk Era base, and I'll let you guys into a little secret. I tried to record an episode before and, well actually I did record an episode, but it turns out crap. It turned out really bad, so I, I'm, I'm redoing it, but the problem is the stuff that I did last episode is still up. So, it's going to be quite a surprise, but this is what we did last episode, F5, boom! <laughs> oh, you might be able to see why I decided to scrap that one, but basically, I wanted to make a giant face on the side of the, the mountain, the side of the... the, the chunk error right and we did that last episode but a little bit more than that we did um i'll explain lots of stuff in a minute but yeah so we did this last episode because that was an original plan of mine was to make this sort of like a mount rushmore type deal where my massive face is plastered on the side of a mountain because i'm such an egotistical person uh, well no <laughs> no it's not that it's just I, I think it looks cool it looks cool i i like the look of it and um I even had ideas for like, oh, the mouth could open up and that could be the way in, like the door. Um, and I get more into like ways I, I thought about getting up here. At the moment, we've got this lovely dirt scaffolding, but there's more than meets the eye ha ha ha, with this because actually I did try and do some redstone last episode. In fact, I did do redstone last episode. I did this. Da -da 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 -da. Ha ha. Notice how the... Um, the eyes are water. Yeah. Uh, I ha I had some cool lava slash water block. Well, not block swapper. Liquid swapper. Uh, so during the day, it's water. And during night, it's lava. But I bet you couldn't tell that from down there, could you? No. That's what I realised at the end of the episode. Actually, it doesn't look very good. Well, it looks good from up here. But you can't see it down there. It's too much of an angle. But I'll show you what it looks like with the lava. I have this all hooked up. I did everything last episode. I have it all hooked up to a daylight sensor so that it, it automatically changes. Look at this mess. This was a design I made from scratch. It's probably quite an obvious one to do, but I spent ages in, in the creative world working out how to do this so that the water wouldn't interfere with the lava and it wouldn't make smooth stone anywhere or cobblestone and you know wouldn't turn into a generator. But I did all this and I was really pleased with it until I stepped back and realised it was too small. Here's the daylight sensor, hooked up to, uh, well, the light. And I will swap it over for you by doing this. Alright, notice how now the, the water's been blocked in by the pistons and now the lava's falling. Oh, it's really cool, it's just not big enough. Um, and you didn't really miss much, it was me just faffing around with redstone. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> I keep doing that. Yeah, look. You can't even see there's lava in there. You can't see it at all. Oh, come on, Minecraft. Load in. It's been really, really weird lately, Minecraft. Uh, apparently, there's this setting that I need to change. Advanced, open GL or something, but I can't find it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this, this does keep happening. That's the problem with having a dirt bridge, so only one block tall. Actually, I need all this stuff. I can't lose any of this. I had a really nice pick. Got that back. Good. Have all my supplies ready. Uh... Oh, oh, ender pearls. Pop this back on. Um, that looks about... Mm, no, wait. The problem is that your stuff just explodes way too far. <laughs> it goes everywhere. Oh, come on, look at this world. Maybe it's my computer. Maybe I need to... Act. Oh, no, I've got two gigs of RAM there. That's enough. That's enough for Minecraft. I reckon it's these um, damn snapshots that I keep moaning about. And actually, I'm going to moan about that a little bit more later on, I think. Snapshots. Maybe at the end of the episode. But yeah, that was the problem with it. Uh, let's go back up so you can see the lava and not die. I think that's most of the stuff. Um, it's a good idea. I just think it was a poor, a, a poor um, practice of it. So I'm going to redo it. That's what today's episode is going to be. A redo. Redo it all. And we're going to make it bigger. We're going to make the face bigger. We're going to make the eyes bigger. We're going to keep the redstone contraption. I have, I have altered it so it would work. Um on a bigger scale. 
Because at the moment, the the face is twice the size. So for each pixel, there. Are, oh, oh no. Oh damn it. That's such a good pick. Damn it. For each uh, pixel on my face, hello. There is two blocks. So notice how the bit of the eye is two blocks. Two blocks by two blocks. Which I thought was big enough, but actually it's not. So um, there it is with lava. I seem to have a little hole in my face. Oh dear. Wrinkles. Um, lava looks cool, especially at night time. That's why I wanted lava at night time, water during the day. Um, but I have I have changed it now. I've made it into a three by... Well, no. Yeah, a three by three. So for every pixel on my face, I can now do it three blocks by three blocks. And have the, um, the pupil three blocks by three blocks. So that's what we're going to do today. I... I foresee lots of cutting and fast forwarding because I'm going to have to rip this down, this down, yes, and uh, <laughs> and start again, basically, which does suck, but um, I think it's for the best. Look at my luscious red lips there. Mwah. Um, and I, I need to make more room for the redstone as well because it's a bit bigger now. I'm going to get on that. I'm going to rip down this face. So we'll build another one, bigger, better, more beautiful, and get on with the redstone and uh, try not to die. Too much. Ooh, yeah, we're good. We're good. So I got on that. I'll be back once my face has disappeared from the face of the earth. Actually, before I get on with that, I just went to go collect some smooth stone. But before I do that, I um I also went a little bit more spelunking, um since last episode and since the Q and A caving. So I've got quite a lot of uh, resources now. I'm, you know, I always say I'm usually quite poor on the server. Things are changing. Tides are returning because look at this. So thirteen diamonds. This is aside from all the diamonds we got from the yard sale on iron. Um, we got thirteen diamonds. We got twenty-five gold ore. I got loads of rail for some ideas later on, and also to hook up to the nether, nether hub. But then iron, we have one, two, three stacks there, and we have four, five, six and a half stacks of iron. We have another. We have a stack of gold and a little bit more, more lapis and oh, we'll take that smooth stone and that one, and a little bit more of that and also nine diamond ore, which I think is about time we break up. I have my fortune three. There we go. You always got to do this sort of stuff on camera. It's like a rule. So not too much got uh, diamond, but enough. Oh dear! No, don't try and break it with clay. Right. And that's silk touch. There we go. Fortune three. That's three, I think. Yeah, three. <gasps> Four. One. <gasps> three. What was that? I lost count already. A lot. More. More. Oh, baby. 24 diamonds from nine. Oh, is my... I'm sorry if you heard that. I didn't realize my Facebook was open. Close that. Um. Oh, yeah. This is good. What are we on now? We're on to... 37 diamonds, 12 in there, and 6 blocks of diamonds. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Right, I just wanted to do that. I'll get back on to tearing that down. Oh, look at it. Such an empty face. <laughs> just my hairline and my bottom lip remaining. But there's kind of all the insides ripped out now. No more redstone, none of that stuff. And I've left that, well, I can't get rid of that bottom one because I fall to my death. And I've left this top one in. Because um, I still want the top of the head to start from there. I don't want it to go any higher. I only want it to go lower because of that previously mentioned problem where you can't see it when you're down below. So if it's a little bit lower, you should be able to see it a bit better. Plus the fact it's going to be bigger. Uh, so I'm going to get started building this. I might record this and maybe fast forward it. Maybe put some music to it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I might die a lot. But um, I have most of the supplies, I think, ready in a chest. There. <laughs> I wonder where it was then. And uh, let's see how many times I fall to my doom. But three blocks for every pixels. It should be pretty damn big. Let's get started.
well, there we go. I'm not sure how that fast forward went because there was quite a bit of cutting. Um, but I've now done it. I've finished the face and I also do, 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 carved out a massive, massive, massive room. Well, actually, it's kind of remnants of the previous um, redstone contraption. And I just made it even bigger to make uh, to make room for the new redstone contraption, which will do three by, well, three by two. Um, three sources of, of liquid, basically. Um, yeah, should be plenty of room, I'm hoping. There's the hole to the daylight sensor. And I'll show you what the face looks like. I haven't seen it yet, so if, I, if I've built this wrong, then um, then I've built it wrong. Whoops. I don't think I have, though. It's going to be covered in a bit of dirt, but I've got to leave this here to get back up. Could I fall down there? Yeah. I need to come down anyway to make some pistons and stuff. So, we go back. What I'm really wanting to know is how big are the eyes? Are the, are the eyes big enough? Are they clear enough? Are they, they going to be fine? Do we need to go to see the doctors? Uh, opticians? Boom! Oh, yeah. That's much better. Oh. That is much better. Yeah, and it's the right the right one. That is my face. Hello. Yes. Now, I don't know whether I should keep it made out of stone, but I wanted to have that sort of carved out appearance. I could maybe use smooth bricks or something. Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's right. Apart from the nasty bit of dirt on my face, that is looking good to me. And the eyes do look bigger and clearer. Oh, what big eyes you have. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to get on making some redstone stuff. I need to make a lot of repeaters and a few more pistons and stuff like that. And we should be ready to go. I'm not sure if I'll keep the redstone on camera, but I'll start building it. And with, I think this one's easier to build. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm back and uh, I've got my redstone ready. Redstone ready. I've got a picture up for reference, which I'm going to have to follow a little bit. And if this turns out crap, then I will... Uh, well... I'll just probably skip to it being done, but for now, let's have a go at building at least one of them on screen. I'll build on this side because there's more room. And it is quite simple, I think. You know, in in the grand scheme of um, redstone, <laughs> which can be bloody confusing, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. So, it's all about blocking off and, and opening up water and redstone at the right time, really. Um, already, I'm having trouble here because I've got to, <laughs> I've got to look and talk and work out what I'm doing at the same time. Lots of pistons. There you go. There's the first bit like that. Looks pretty complicated, doesn't it? But it's not. It's not. Don't you fear. Do not fret. Um, okay. So and then we have. Oh boy, what do we have now? We have some blocks there. Yes, because the water goes in these two bits. Actually, we could... Oh, actually, before I do anything, let me make an infinite source so I don't waste it. Uh, one there, and one there. Why is my screen... My screen feels really dark. I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, and then we'll go like this, and see how, look, it splits and goes into both of them. So we're saving. We're saving on pistons, we're saving on redstone. It does create a source block there, but I don't think that's an issue. Wait, does that create a source block? No, I don't think it does. I think that's just a, a graphical thing. Oh, it might do, but I've tested this and it, it works fine. So, um, I'm, I'm not going to... Yeah, it definitely does. It works fine, guys. <laughs> Believe me. It, it's fine. Uh, let's go like this. We have actually got to build this up a little bit. I dug out too much room. I'm, I'm too... Uh, too efficient. Yes, quite. Okay, here we are. That's this is this is pretty much it, you know? This is pretty much it. That's it. Right? Then we just put in the repeaters and oh boy, are there a lot of them. So this is quite important. This timer I've just set to the longest delay because otherwise the water flows too fast and creates cobble or smooth stone when it hits the lava. So yeah, you have to watch out for stuff like that. Then we're going to put two here. Uh, the only reason I'm using this many repeaters is because I don't want to have to have a, a block gap because I, I could just have um, redstone block gap redstone so they don't interfere but I want them right up close next to each other I want to save as much space as I can so that's why I'm doing it like this uh, we need to bring this out one more I think please say I, I dug out enough room oh we're getting very close to the edge I don't like this 
<laughs> I don't like being cramped. All right, we're gonna put in some torches now as well. Uh, reason for this is because it's gonna invert. It's it's very complicated. I'm not gonna bother explaining. <laughs> not yet, anyway. In fact, we can just bring this whole thing up. Let's just bring the whole thing up. Just don't forget about my water, infinite water source there. That's all. And would you look at that? I didn't dig out enough room. After all of that, I was so sure I did as well. Ugh. Oh well. All right. Let's pick up some more of that stuff. We can fool you in there anyway. Yeah, this is it. That's it. Not too, not too tricky. Although I've just realised now that the the light thing is in the wrong place, so I'm gonna have to move that. That's annoying. Not too big of a deal though. Um, then we have a block here and a block here. Let me do some more torch action. Oh no 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 no! There and there. Right, so you should kind of see how this is working now. Notice how all these thrissen. Tristans? Pistons are closed in. This is where the lava is going to go. And amazingly, when the lava is free, it will flow there, there, and there. So it will get all three spaces in one source block, which is pretty dang good, if you ask me. Uh, then what we do is we cover up this water, just because I don't want to fall in it. Like that. And then we put a bit of redstone. Where's my redstone? There, there. And then there. And that's it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's test it. Oh, actually, let's put the lava in as well. Got any lava? Lava? Anyone? No? Yes, lava. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. Let's hope that the server lag doesn't ruin it. <laughs> I bet it does. Alright, what else do I need? Let's build a lever. And... Oh, sorry about my... Stupid computer making so much background noise. I keep moaning about that. Oh, so when I when I flick the switch right here, it should open the lava and close the water. Here we go. Oh, it did it! Oh, it did it! Yes! Oh, it worked first time. Flawless. Flawless. Oh, I can't really see it, but... Can I build a little bridge? Mm, I don't want to go all the way down. You know what it looks like. I'll show you at the end anyway. But yeah, that worked. Alleluia. Let's switch it back. Make sure that the, the water doesn't turn into lava. Turn into lava, turn into cobble or anything. Go. Now you hear hissing, but that's fine. Hissing is just where the water is on top of the lava. But I think it's worked. I think it's worked. Oh, that's so cool. Yes! Right. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to build the same thing on this side. I will move the um, the daylight sensor place so it doesn't interfere with this redstone. And we'll see the whole thing in action. How about that? Ta-da! All done. And I've hooked up the uh, daylight sensor. It's right, well, it's right here. Uh, there we go. Nice long shot. So if we put this here. Get a bit of redstone, we've got to invert it, which means I need a torch. Uh, we've got to invert it to make it lava during the night and water during the day. So let's do that. Yeah, let's use smooth stone, let's use it for everything else. Let's stick with it. Boom and boom. So it should change the water now. Yes. And yes. <gasps> redstone didn't run out of power anywhere. It might do actually. Hmm. Let's have a think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ooh. Ooh, I'm I'm have I got any more yeah, I've got loads of spare. I'm gonna put in some just in case. There you go. Don't want that happening. I'll put one there as well. Excellent. Okay. Oh, bloody noisy motorbikes in the background. So let's get down. Oh, I'm really, I'm really sad. This is covering up my face, so we won't be able to see it properly. But oh well, oh well. There is a few other little things I want to do in today's episode. Not massive things, more like a ramble, just to end it off. And I want to show you some creative worlds I've got going, just to see if you guys have got any good ideas of what we can do with this, this cliff face and mountain base. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> cliff face. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at this then. Oh, I'm much, much, much happier with this. Oh, you can actually see the water now as well. This is good. 
Yes, look at that. That's much better. That's ten times better already. Ah, look at a little door there on my temple. Okay then. That's good. That's very good. So one last little thing I want to do. We're done with the redstone. We're done with the face for today. I hope you like it. I do. Uh, I want to show you. I want to show you the creative world, but I also want to show you just some of the scenery around this place. I mean, I always think amplified worlds, they're good, but they're just a little bit a little bit all over the place. Oh, I tell you what. Oh, please say they're in here. No! Don't leave them up there. I wanted some ender pearls. Oh, I, mm, yeah. Mm, go on foot or go by. Uh, we're going foot. It's fine. We're going, yeah. Let's get some get some exercise. So I just want to show you because I was uh, I was caving the other day and got lost. I had to dig up just to find my way out. And I I dug up to the just oh it's such a nice place. And here's the thing, right? When I find a really nice place in Minecraft, really nice scenery, it's going dark. Ace is on. Damn. Uh, when I find a really nice place, I almost I always want to do something with the land. Like I want to build a base there. And what I end up doing is ruining the land because I don't come up with a good base. So I think what I'm going to do with this place is, as weird as it sounds, I'm not going to touch it. It's, this can be my backyard, right? Because the mountain base is going to be somewhere there. What is that? I don't know. And this this can be my backyard, so I won't build anything there. The most I might build is maybe like a river. A river that can run through it. Where the hell am I going? I've got to go all around first. Yeah, I might build a river, might build a sort of um, roller coaster, not a proper one, but you know, just like a mine cart that goes through it. I don't know where I'm going. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, just, just, just to admire the scenery, you know, we don't have to build something there, we can just, we can just look at it. We can just look at it, I think it is through here. Uh, but I really should probably stay safe and not do this at the night time because there are tons of mobs that spawn here tons yeah you know what i'm gonna cut back once i have ender pearls and uh, it's daytime again so i don't die okay i'm back it's daytime the wonderful ace he uh, he logged he logged for me so i could sleep sleep the night away i grabbed my ender pearls and i remember the way to go it's actually through this sort of valley look at this place oh valley of waterfalls this is what this place is called it's just, uh, it's a little bit tricky to traverse, hence why I brought these enderpearls, but I don't want to waste them just yet. Uh, but yeah, I just really want to show you this place. It's it's like, there's a name for it, there's probably a geological term for it, where it's a flat bit surrounded, well at least I think it was surrounded by mountains, I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, like mountains all around it and this nice little quaint flat bit right in the middle. And I just thought, this is beautiful. There are some... Some landscapes in Minecraft that just make me go, mm mm, damn. And uh, this is one of them, you know. <laughs> I don't actually do that. That was a bit of an exaggeration. But uh, I do think, ooh, that's pretty. So, oh god, yeah, this does take a while, but I think we're almost at the end of it. I, I didn't have, oh, oh, I've got to get up there. I didn't have that much time to look at it because uh, it was night time and mobs were killing me. So, I had to admire it briefly. Oh, look at this. This is great. I, I love it when the world doesn't load in like this. I love it. Okay, here we are. I think it's I think it's in here. I hope I'm right and I'm not getting this completely wrong. But, um... Oh my god, what's going on here? Please, someone help me with this stupid chunk loading. Oh, I'm, I, maybe I am getting this the wrong way. But anyway, let me ramble for a second while we get there. Minecraft recently came out with a new snapshot. And, although it's kind of cool... You've got these new sort of rotating textures so that it isn't always a perfect, you know, so it isn't always facing this direction, the grass. It can be facing that direction or that direction. And it it makes it look more organic because um, there's no longer a pattern. Well, there is a pattern, but uh, I don't know where I'm going now. Screw it. Oh, no, that's that's a poor throw. That's a poor throw if I've seen one. Oh. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, I do have a problem with Minecraft at the moment though. Not only is this chunk loading and optimization getting on my nerves because of the lack of fixing it, but also Minecraft seems very, very 
all over the place. Um, oh, here we are. I think this is it. As in... Oh, this is it. Oh, look at this place. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Um, now, anyone could say that they thought Minecraft was better when it was in beta or whatever. And that, uh, most people would, would put that down to nostalgia. Like, oh, you just think that because you were new to the game and everything was exciting and scary. But I think they do have a point because... Sure, it may have had less features, and it may have been a bit rougher around the edges, but it seemed like a a, a fully thought out game in in a sort of way. It seemed to all fit, and the more they update it, in my opinion, the more they update it, the more it seems like odds and ends of a game. Like we've got boats, but they don't really work, and now they're they're added horses, and they're kind of laggy, and now they've added these bunnies, which don't I don't think really fit in very well. Um, and they have like bunnies that are, are, are referenced in Monty Python, which is all well and good, very funny, but uh, I don't know. It, it it's just uh, when there was less stuff, it seemed more self-contained. I don't know if I'm describing this in a very a very good manner, but look at that. Look at this. Hang on, let me let me bump up the um, let me lag out some by bumping up the chunk distance to twelve. But yeah, the more they go on, and the more like the, the the guardians and underwater temples now, and I don't know. I just I reckon maybe when Notch was still making it, there was this there was this theme, and the theme seems to have gone a little bit haywire. Oh, I love this place. See, can you imagine like a river running through here that we just gently flow down in the boat if we can, or maybe jutting out of that mountain we have a a minecart track that just goes all the way through. Problem is, my cards are a bit fast, but you know it's just lovely. I love it. Also, kind of messy, but I like that in a way. All like the floating bits and stuff. It adds a sort of a uh, bit of character to it. But no, I just want to show you this place because I thought it looked really nice. Lovely flowers everywhere. Weird broken trees over there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on to be honest. Or is it just where it hasn't loaded in? No, I, I think it is just broken. But yeah, I love this place. I love it. Look at it. Mm. I'm not going to touch it very much. Don't think so anyway. Look at these mountains. Right, I'm going to stop rambling now. What do you think about the Minecraft thing? I'm. Am I being a bit mean? They are working hard. They, I mean, I'm. I'm glad they're still updating it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad they're still updating it. But I just wish they'd update it with a with a theme, and that they would, that they would update, or, or rather they would fix before they update, and introduce new stuff. I just think the game's really a bit flawed at the moment. But that does not stop me from playing it. Still, I've been playing this game for like four years now, non-stop, pretty much. So, um, hey, I can't hate it that much, can I? Oh, right, I am going to... Well, what am I going to do? I want to show you that thing in action from far back. But, what do I? Mm, no, actually, I'll show you... Oh, oh. Oh, no. I could show you in the creative world how it works, but I did want to show you it on the mountainside. But I think we've got a while till night time now. Um, you know what? Oh, look at this place. Mm. Uh, you know what? We can wait. I can wait. It's fine. I'll cut back when it's just about to turn night time and we'll see the face in action. Okay, it is turning night time. That's good timing, actually. Just as I got back. So let's turn around. Let's see it in action. I'm not quite sure when it's going to change, but I can fill time in the meantime. How are you? You good? Yeah? Did you see that game last night? What a result. Uh, how's the weather? Okay, I can't do this, but I think it's going to change any moment now. Uh, oh, yeah, you can definitely see it a lot better like that. I'm much pleased. Much pleased. Mm. Um, much more pleased. Oh, you'll see it because you'll see the light start to emit from the lava. Um, see down there? Oh, I don't want to take my eyes off it. Don't want to take my eyes off my eyes. Uh, you see down there is a slime block thing. That was another idea of 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 well, because the base is going to be where that head is pretty much. It's going to be inbuilt into the mountain, so we've got to think of a cool way to get up there. I mean, obviously we'll have a portal there inside it, but we also want a way to get in, like a front door. I was thinking, oh no, I was thinking maybe at first the mouth can open up and we go in through there, maybe like a water elevator boat elevator but then I said boats don't work very well so we can't do that 
then I thought maybe slime blocks, a slime elevator, and then you bounce your way up to the top, because that's pretty fun when you do that. Um, there you go, look at this! <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Look at it change, and then, haha, -ha, demon muckluck appears. Ooh. From really far away, that looks so cool. Wait, is that back one not working? Mm, that back one there is not working. Maybe I didn't hook up the um, the torch. But it is working for the most part. We'll leave it at that. So yeah, I did try these... Um, these... Uh, oh, let's change it back as well. Why not? Slime blocks. But they do lag a little bit. But they could still work. Uh, and they're so fun. Travelling via slime blocks are pretty fun. Okay, it should change back now. Yep. There you go. Look, here comes the water. Oh, I love it. I love automated things. It's so cool. So cool. Right. Let me show you these. I have a feeling this episode's running long, so I better start wrapping it up. But there's this thing. That's the problem with them, you see. Mm. Bounce. We could bounce all the way up. We could have jump platform to jump platform to jump platform all the way to the top. But I, I found out on here, you can only walk across them. If you try running... Oh no, that one worked. But sometimes if you try running, they um, you're too fast, or you're too slow. I see. I don't, they're they're uh, they're inconsistent. That's the problem. So I don't think I will use these, or maybe I will, but just not as the main way. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some other ideas. Well, basically just one other idea I had, and it's the reason why I got so much um, rail. Here we are in a creative world, and this was idea number two, or three, maybe two. We're still with the smaller face, this is before I changed it. But um, the idea is, imagine if this was as massive as it is on the server, to have um, kind of, you know, poking out of the of the side of the, um, the wall, jutting out, would be all these different minecart tracks, and they'd take you from one part of the base to the other. Because I think minecarts are pretty good. They did do that whole thing with making them really fast and... You know, being able to spin off, but they're they're fairly reliable, fairly consistent minecarts, more so than boats anyway. Because um, yeah, down here is the the remnants of me trying to make a boat elevator. Didn't work. So yeah, the only problem with these is that they might be a too noisy, and b too laggy. Let's have a go at one of them though, just to show you what I mean. Obviously, they might be bigger than this. These are these are small scale examples, but we're here. We want to go, oh, let's go to the farm bit. Okay, I missed. This this could also be a problem. Actually, I want to get rid of that as well. There you go. And then you get off here. And ta-da, now we're down here. So, we don't always have to have them running. But I like the fact it's like a little train station. And you have to wait for your train to come in. And then you ride it back up. And then you get off, and there you go. I, I think that's pretty cool. I do think that's pretty cool. We need a lot of powered rail. A lot of gold. Oh, this stuff. I should probably mention this in case you're wondering. This is... Oh, this is... I'll be really quick with this because I don't want to waste time. But um, this was a, a map that the Yogscast played two or three years ago. It was Yog Golf. And I remember watching this. And this is kind of what sparked my interest in making a mini golf course. So I did download this map months ago now and had a quick look at it just to see how they did theirs. Um, how they made their mini golf courses. Um... And also, it's good because it was old terrain, so I could generate uh, chunk errors to practice on. But yeah, that's what this is, in case you're wondering what it is in the background. Yogg's Yog Golf. Yogg's Cast Golf. That was it. But yeah, this was another idea. I think this has much more potential. But in case you do have any ideas, please do leave them in the comments. I am always after inspiration. And it could be really weird. I'm after weird stuff. I want this base to be sort of messy and fun. Yeah? This is I that hence why the lava water thing. I think it's quite fun and cool. But with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe do some more of the base. I we still have yet to be pranked by Hollywood, but I'm sure that's that's incoming. I'm sure of it. So might have to do some clearing up of pranks as well. Who knows? But until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>